Hi, welcome to Shire Talks. These are, uh, I'm proud to present to you my new series of uh, important uh, psychological, uh, philosophical uh, yarns in some way, but they're not yarns, they're not stories or made up things, they're philosophical psychology. Essentially, that's what it boils down to, and and uh, it tap into many other many other subjects. But so these talks, I'm branding my own Shire talks. Like you know, you see TED talks, it's TEDx. So I've got that same sort of theme, Shire X talks. <laughs> so, uh, but. I just did this compilation of a uh, pick up the the phone a few times just to get a couple of things uh, overflowing from the abundance of my heart that I wanted to say, and uh, in in a few of them I've wound up going unedited for you know thirty, forty, sometimes over an hour, you know, with just straight through. Um, some, uh, working through some amazing ideas. And so, uh, I've taken the best of those. Um, of course, um, you know, I try not to publish my crap, but I guess I look back on some of my old stuff and I think it's sort of crappy. Um, so it doesn't matter. But these are recent Shire X talks, so I'll probably just be starting. Uh, well, you can you can see it, you can find them in some of my playlists, but I'm probably gonna have to make a, a brand new playlist to just called Shire Shire Talks uh, coming up. So then, right, because the other talks, the, the the list of talks that I have, it's like some like I don't know, thirty to sixty or something. I forget what the number is. Um, but the uh, series of really good talks of these sort of these, the, this, this core of a lot of what I've been talking about. And I've got a really good thing to come up to. I've got a couple of great new ones. I'm not sure if they'll be published before or after this video itself. But at the time of recording this video, I'm yet to publish two of my best talks. They're coming up. They're coming up for you. Uh, one of them is called Epiphanies of a Gold Medal Rambler. That you should check out. But then even better, because I, I, I recorded that, check that one out. That one is just, that is a gem of a talk. Uh, and then... Uh, and then I, I, I have another one that I did after that, that was just, it's just amazing. It's about Socrates' muse. And also I, I hit upon in this talk, I hit upon the, the juxtaposition, uh, the apparent juxtaposition between Chomsky and Jordan Peterson, meaning why is Noam Chomsky so dismissive of Jordan Peterson? And, and I look into that uh, really deeply because it's a quandary. And so it's something to look at. And in that talk, I mean, it doesn't occupy the whole talk, but it occupies like, you know, like, and, and then you have to listen to the whole talk too, because the, uh, I bring up these topics a couple times, a lot of the topics I, I come into and then weave through and weave in and out of with other topics and take other angles. And then I try and come back and hit hit upon the, the rest of each topic later in the talk. So everything comes full circle by the end of the talk, which it does, which they do. They all come full circle. So as yet, you, you'll be seeing these. I'll probably publish it before this. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. If you haven't seen it, go check out those talks. And stay tuned for all my new, my, my new series of Shire talks coming from Tom's Gauntlet, the, uh, the musician, composer, performer, artist, and uh, avid interest in other artists. 
Like, I, I don't want to just suck you into me. Like, all pop musicians, Madonna, Michael Jackson, Sting, whatever. They just suck you into them like they were some kind of planet, right? It's absurd. It's fake. Because, it, it like, essentially they're on pedestals and they have no <sighs> genuflection even. No, no humility, no historical uh, inspiration within them, so that they're stuck on themselves and building up their own image. When whereas it's like they we we have to tap into other other thinkers, other artists, other ideas, and then and then show respect to them. That's the best way. And oh my God, YouTube allows us to do that in in ways we've never done as an artist. So in some ways, it's like YouTube is really the the artist's revolution. It's the, it offers just real artistic revolution in terms of art and philosophy and psychology at the same time. And since all of those are linked up, really closely together and spirituality and religion and mythology are linked up with all of those things too. Uh, to be interested in all of those things is just to be uh, more of a uh, Renaissance thinker, right? All of these people throughout history who were Renaissance thinkers were so because they linked into many other people. For instance, Thomas Merton. So, I tap into Thomas Merton quite a bit on one of those talks. In the second second one of those talks, I I deal quite a bit with Thomas Merton and his uh his meeting with the Dalai Lama. And I go into that a little bit and the and so I mean these talks that I'm giving, they're well worth your time, I, I assure you, because I've I've given them uh from the abundance of my heart and uh, and I've also given a lot of bad talks and angry talks, and I just figure, like, I probably shouldn't, I'm not really going to publish those, because no one's interested in those, and I don't really get very far in anything. But um, in some of these other talks, um, they're, they're right on target. And so uh, the Shire talks, so I'm starting on these on-target Shire talks coming to you, and I'll be putting those in uh, a new playlist. And well worth, definitely well worth your time. And not only have I given them, but I've gone back and listened to them with benefit again and again, which is great. It's great that I haven't, you know, I mean, well, just to talk, though, talk, it's like you, you, you go through these things, but it's difficult because every time you talk, you have to pick up the elements brand new so to speak you have to you have to start again and, and forge your own arrowheads from from stone in every single talk that's the kind of integrity that you're going to find in 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 my talks the shire x talks i'm not just getting up all fancy polished before you with a bunch of polished words that have been gone over by a bunch of psychological uh, engineers and teams to find out what's the most effective thing to say and then just say that and then make a clip and then say something else and then clip that in, right? We The technology can just make us lost too. It can just, like, we can end up becoming lost uh, and, like, forever estranged from the true genuineness within our own hearts and within our own minds and our own voice and from coming to <laughs> to the long arduous trek to become a more genuine person and a more honest person walking and walking and walking and and contemplating and meditating alone and closing off the eyes and ears and meditating and 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 tra and closing off the the mind the, the endless chattering mind and, and just, you know, and then de devoting oneself towards something, you know, beyond money, where there's not even any, any financial gain in it whatsoever, but yet staying devoted toward the higher values that are within it, that transcend financial values or blood values even. They transcend all of these things, art, 
art is the manifestation, art, which is music and everything else, is art is the manifestation of the truth, God's truth in the universe. And that's where we discover it and learn about it. about divinity and about higher spirituality. It's in that way. So please stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, uh, give your comments, go to my playlists. I'm asking each, each of you, please, I'm asking you as my subscriber, please go through uh, some of my playlists with a concerted effort to leave comments on every on a bunch of my videos, like leave a ton of comments on a whole bunch of my videos. That would mean, that would really mean a lot to me. And that's something that nobody's doing, you know, very few people are doing. I'm sorry, didn't mean to say nobody. There's about two of you out there who are just consistently enthusiastic. And I have to say, Thank you too so much because <laughs> you're the reason why I'm here. If I haven't had in the past six months you two to be enthusiastic, I wouldn't have had anybody aside from maybe a random person from somewhere I don't know. Could be a subscriber, but one random comment from, from somebody somewhere in every two months or something. It's a little weird. So it's not enough to keep me there. That's not enough to keep me here. I need a bunch of comments from people to show that they're with me and that they're listening. And there's with those two people that are doing that, I swear, you're the reason why I'm still here. If, if these past six months you hadn't been there doing that, I would not be here anymore. I would not be here at YouTube. I would have packed up. I would have packed up my channel, packed it all up and closed it off. That's what would have happened. I would have closed it off. I might have left like three or four or five videos. That's it. That's it. I would have closed off my, my channel and packed up and, and, and left. Whether or not I would have gone somewhere else or not, I don't even know at this point. It doesn't even really matter. So what matters is that, well, I did get a couple people commenting and that... Um, and then in that time, you know, I've gotten a few more subscribers too. And so there's always that, with the subscribers there, there's always that looming hope that like, well, you always feel like you're on the verge of getting some support and comments because people have come around you to subscribe and say that they're interested in what you're doing and what you're producing. And, and, that, and then when they do that and they flock around you and then they just sort of like stand there mute you know, it's, um, it's ominous and it can actually be bad, really bad. And in music, to do that within music is just, it's diabolical. Imagine getting up on stage and, and playing your heart out and then everybody sits there and listens to you. But then at the end, no one says anything and no one even claps. Like they, they just sort of, oh, they go back. They just sort of, you know, stand up and walk out, you know, you would take that as an absolute rejection, right? So in music, it's catastrophic to, to do that. In these other things, I mean, yeah, you don't, there's no need for you to reflect, for your soul to reflect anything. Of course, there's no need. Right? There's no need for, for your soul to be polished. Right? There's no need for it. Right? We've all gone to school with sullied souls. Right? That's what we've learned in school, actually, is the, the sullyment of our souls, the, the down to, how to downtrod uh, and negate the, 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 the sparkling reflective quality of our souls. And, and go in and, 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 and stamp that out and, and, and get into a boringness, right? Drollness, right? And so like non-reflectiveness, non-harmony, that type of thing. <laughs> Fall away into layers, deeper and deeper layers of uh, 
psychological delusion and self-deception, right? Well, that's what you learn if you when you like when your hearts are not polished, when our hearts are not polished, it happens to all of us. We all have to go on that quest to polish our own soul. So stick around. I think if you listen to me, it's going to help you on that quest and can also help you to find uh, and tap into other great wellsprings of inspiration, both traditions and individual people in many, many, many different areas that can, can lead you toward your own personal enlightenment. Thanks again. Thanks again so much for listening and offering any of the kind support that, that you can offer whenever you can. And uh, please stay tuned for Shire Talks.